Israel has targeted and killed a senior Palestinian militant. Six other Palestinians were also killed on the second day of renewed hostilities. It is the worst flare-up of violence in months, with the Israeli militants saying they have attacked over 250 targets in Gaza. The government has ordered continued strikes on the Strip. They say this is in response to over 600 rockets and other projectiles that have been launched from Gaza into the south of Israel, where three people died in the city of Ashkelon. Tom Bateman reports from Jerusalem. Singled out in a packed Gaza city street, this was a targeted strike. Killing a Palestinian, Israel said, was a money launderer for militants. Air raid sirens have hardly stopped in southern Israel. More than 500 rockets have been fired from Gaza since yesterday, the Israelis said. One of the worst flare-ups in years between old enemies. Israel hasn't seen this number of casualties from rocket strikes since 2014. Some hit homes. Israeli deaths have prompted talk of a fierce response from the country's prime minister. I've instructed our forces to continue with massive strikes against terrorists in the Gaza Strip. And the forces around the Gaza Strip will be stepped up with tank, artillery and infantry. Powerful explosions hit Gaza as the warplanes struck. Israel said it hit hundreds of militant sites. The escalation had started on Friday when one of Gaza's smaller militant groups, Islamic Jihad, shot and wounded two Israeli soldiers. The death toll has been rising in Gaza. Militants are among those killed. Now high emotions are adding to the political pressure on both sides. Israel and Hamas fought their last full-scale conflict five years ago. The UN and others are desperately working to avoid a repeat. But for now, neither side seems ready to back down. Tom Bateman, BBC News, Jerusalem. All right, we've got breaking news out of the Middle East, where Gaza militants have now fired some 600 rockets into Israel. Israeli officials say they've responded with 260 airstrikes on targets across Gaza. Four Israelis were killed and four militants have been killed, according to health officials. CNN's Oren Lieberman is near the Israeli border with Gaza. Oren, is this conflict expected to continue to intensify? From everything we see right now, this is certainly continuing. Whether it intensifies, we'll certainly know in the next couple of hours. As we're standing here uh, near the shore of Ashkelon, a town just north of Gaza, we have seen and heard Israeli fighter jets above our head and then heard the sounds of what sound like massive airstrikes carried out inside of Gaza, an indication that this isn't over yet as we enter the second night. So far, according to the Israeli military, more than 600 rockets have been fired from Gaza into Israel, some along the Gaza periphery, shorter range rockets that might get as far as where we're standing, but some also more powerful medium range and long range rockets that are part of an escalation that we've seen throughout the course of the last 36 hours. According to Israeli officials, four people have been killed in Israel by that rocket fire. Meanwhile, Israel, as you pointed out, has carried out a wave of airstrikes, including artillery fire and tank fire across Gaza, they say targeting uh, Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad military targets. According to the latest numbers from the Palestinian Ministry of Health, 20 people have been killed because of those airstrikes. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu indicating this isn't over yet. This morning, I instructed the IDF to continue with massive attacks against terrorist elements in the Gaza Strip. And I also instructed that forces around the Gaza Strip be stepped up with tank, artillery, and infantry forces. Hamas bears responsibility for not only its own attacks and actions, but also for the actions of Islamic Jihad, and it is paying a very high price for this. In addition to military pressure, Israel is also trying to put economic pressure on Gaza. They've already closed the fishing zone as well as the border crossings into Gaza. Now they've announced that they'll freeze the supply of fuel into Gaza, all as an attempt to put economic pressure on Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad to stop the rocket fire. Frederica, we have seen this develop in stages on the Palestinian side, from short-range rockets to medium-range rockets and an anti-tank missile. On the Israeli side, from smaller military targets near the border to larger buildings, as well as a targeted killing of one of the main Hamas operatives that brings in money. Because this has developed from stages, it gives an opportunity to step away from the next stage, but we're not there yet as the fighting continues. Oren Lieberman in Israel, thank you so much. We'll check back with you, and we'll be right back.